another issue for review the economic hardship in nigeria and its political distractions that is another big issue in nigeria now currently we are passing through a very serious economic hardship almost all nigerians are suffering because of two things one is sudden removal of fuel subsidy and hike in the fuel price another one is the um, free float of the naira exchange rate against the u.s dollar okay these two actions of tinubu's government has led to very serious hardship in nigeria people are trekking people are resorting to using bicycle and uh, other manual means of transportation people have also decided to you know to switch from using petrol to run their cars and generators to using compressed natural gas as well for vehicles that were manufactured and meant to use liquid fuel we are now converting them to use gaseous fuel okay along the line we've seen some accidents and exclusions around uh, uh happening this hardship nigeria is known for one thing and that is the key point of discussion here each time there's a very serious political or economic issue to discuss along the line distractions will just come and people will just sway away from the key issue leaving what is we you know the, the 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 actual matter and then follow another 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 uh, 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 another trend now with the economic hardship that is biting nigeria and with the palliative that the government promised they were going to share and it's not forthcoming they've taken 800 million uh, dollar from world bank to share as palliative they can't share it they have looked they are a promising increase of salary and minimum wage they still have not done it people are suffering and now the next thing is two things one is that the tribunal has concluded its uh, proceedings and sitting and now judgment is suspended for now pending when they are done with the reporting and writing of the judgment only god knows now as if that is not enough all attention now is directed on the coup in Nigeria republic and the role of ECOWAS in reinstating the democratic government in Nigeria republic now how long are we going to continue to right, nigerians have forgotten the issue of naira flute nigerians have forgotten the issue of uh, fuel subsidy removal everybody is not talking about uh, uh, coup in Nigeria republic everybody is not talking about uh, um, screening of ministerial nominees and their confirmation so what now happens to the issue that is affecting the common man in nigeria and how long are we going to continue to you know to be unstable like this in the things that we do okay every time something serious is happening in nigeria another thing will just they will just create something else and the next thing you are going to see is distraction from the main issue now nigerians are still suffering the suffering has not been elevated in fact right now nigerians seems to be you know getting used to the hardship gradually we are getting used to the hardship gradually exchange rate today is over a thousand naira to one pound and almost 850 naira to one dollar and nigerians that have their children schooling abroad nigerians that are importers that are have one or two legitimate businesses to do abroad that require the use of dollar or pound are suffering the economy is suffering businesses are closing people are not surviving anymore okay and with all of this happening government has not provided any solution the next thing they're talking about is screening and confirmation of ministerial nominees the next thing they're talking about is how the tribunal will release their judgment after the pre uh, presidential tribunal uh, proceedings the next thing they're talking about is how nigeria and ECOWAS is going to uh, intervene in the coup that took place in nigeria republic of what value is ministerial screening to nigeria of what value economic value is the intervention in nigeria republic to common nigerians that are suffering okay so the question is how long is this democracy in nigeria going to continue to suffer us like this in this country now with all the distractions taking place now nigerians are, are no, they are not we are no longer asking the right questions right now we seem to have forgotten where we started from we seem to have forgotten that the government in place is not a legitimate government. That is the truth because from all indications, 
they didn't win the election. We seem to have forgotten the hardship that the 50 or 60 days of Tinubu's uh, government or Tinubu in office is bringing to Nigerians, and nobody is discussing that. A lot of distractions here and there. How are we supposed to manage this kind of political noise? Okay, how, how, how are we supposed to manage this level of distractions in Nigeria? Because it's just out of hand, it's just abnormal. Okay, some people will say it will be like say they just do some kind of sacrifice, they just blow native chalk into the air, and Nigerians will just begin to 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 reason anyhow. You know, it, it just like it, it just like that king that was fighting Israel and taking second kings in the Bible that sacrificed his first son. And immediately he finished that sacrifice, the Bible said there was indignation in Israel. They were confused. They started fighting and quarreling among themselves. There was indignation in Israel. It be like saying, what did they happen for Nigeria be that? When Nigerians are trying to organize themselves to do something meaningful to, to you know, to get things right or back on track, it be like saying, they would just blow one kind of native chalk or perform one kind of sacrifice. And Nigerians would just scatter, start fighting ourselves and start, we get confused and then we begin to talk here and there. Unity would just be scattered, you know. Because and that is what I see that is also part of these political distractions. The political distraction is not normal. The political distraction is it because of the kind of people we are, or is it that the high-powered politicians are performing sacrifices that is affecting the whole nation? Will sacrifice affect everybody? And how long will that continue to happen? Who is affected and who is not affected? Because the economic hardship today does not know class. Even though we know politicians have stolen so much and they think they are immune to the to the hardship in the country, they are not because one, their relatives, their families, and even themselves cannot move freely. Their wives and their children are receiving causes and all forms of, um, 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 how do I put it, all forms of accusations and all forms of criticisms from the public. So both social in the, from social media and publicly and everywhere, and so we we cannot continue to run like a system like this with political distractions. Any time there is a serious issue bedeviling the people and the economy. Okay, now how long will these distractions be, and how long will Nigerians continue to suffer? The solution of the government, I mean, proffering solutions to the situation that is at hand, they will just create distraction and then everybody will forget we just move like water in the flowing in the stream we just change direction again and begin to talk another thing and we leave the main key issue affecting nigerians i think nigerians need to learn lessons nigerians need to be steadfast nigerians need to be focused nigerians need to be really focused in their demand for good governance in nigeria because these distractions have become a political tool a way of you know because they know that after a while nigerians being that they don't have elastic limit by their elastic limit by their nature they will just get used to the situation and they move on and the next thing they will start talking about a new thing that must have happened and they'll forget the main issue at hand political distractions in nigeria and economic hardship there are two opposite sides sides of a coin that is also not good for Nigerians' progress. So thank you for listening and let's have your your idea and your your view on this area of economic hardship and political distractions that is perpetuating uh, a government that is not you know interested in the welfare of Nigeria, full of promises and no action. Okay. And thank you for listening. Let's have a comment.